We're gonna have to fix it in post. We're gonna have to fix it in post. Hi, I'm DC Bentley, and this is my new show, Fix It in Post, where Facebook messes us up. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system. We have a double shot of news here. I'm going to say it right now. Starting next week, uh, we are going to YouTube. Yeah. Uh, start. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, we're going to be doing this same show starting next Wednesday night live on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll post a, a video of this afterwards on Facebook, but tonight is our last night. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, please do so. Uh, the other news, which is, uh, I think that's probably good news, switching to YouTube, because I've had good enough news. of this. Yeah, that's good um, news. The frustrating news that we have is uh, our show next next Saturday, which was volume 15, right. uh, it is officially going to be postponed. Uh, we have, uh, uh, due to the virus and due to our governor's regulations, we're only allowed to have 10% of people inside the building. And uh, as a result, we, uh, we're just not going to be able to, to run the show and, and, and not lose a ton of money. So if you've bought tickets and we know there's people already, uh, please get a hold of us. You have two options at this point. You can um, get your money back, and we'll make sure that happens. We'll figure out a way to make that happen. Or you can save that. I think we're out. We can save that money. What? We're not out. I see us on TV. Uh, anyway. How these producers, what do they know? What do they know? Are we, are we out? Yeah, we are out people already uh, please get a hold of us you have two options at this point you can um, get your money back and we'll make sure that happens we'll figure out a way to make that happen or you can save that I think we're out we can save that money we're not out I see us on TV uh, anyway how these producers what do they they know what do they know are we are we out yeah we are out you know there's people already uh, please get a hold of us you have two options at this point you can um, get your money back, and we'll make sure that happens. We'll figure out a way to make that happen. Or you can save that. I think we're out. We can save that money. What? We're not out. I see us on TV. Uh, anyway. How these producers, what do they, they know? What do they know? Are we, are we out? Yeah, we are out. You know there's people already. Uh, please get a hold of us. You have two options at this point. You can 
Um, get your money back, and we'll make sure that happens. We'll figure out a way to make that happen. Or you can save that. I think we're out. We can save that money. What? We're not out. I see us on TV. Uh, anyway. How these producers, what do they, they know? What do they know? Are we, are we out? Yeah, we are out. I might just shoot this whole thing on my phone. Yeah. I mean, this is going to make me nuts here tonight. But anyway. Hit it with a hammer. Yeah, except not with the battery. <laughs> yeah, don't. don't um, no cusses. So uh, if you didn't catch it before, unfortunately, we are going to have to postpone our next live show. Uh, with the governor uh, and the COVID going on, being our crowds are only allowed 10%. That would mean we're only allowed 42 people in the building. And uh, that's, just, uh, that's just too big of a financial loss. We cannot afford that. We're going to reopen as soon as we can that's not going to stop us here we're going to have these weekly shows next week we'll be back on wednesday night here um so we uh you know i apologize it's just uh we are going to be set up here though going forward after tonight we are undoubtedly going to be on youtube so if you haven't subscribed to youtube we are going that route we're done with facebook this is they've they've burned us too many times man they've burned us too many times so uh Irregardless, the cuts again. We're just going to come back to it as it is, and then we'll show a uh, a full live showing of it later, and and go from there. Um, irregardless, hey man, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm loving life. I hope all of you can say the same, despite that that uh, less than fortunate news. We have a big show for you tonight. We got a lot going on. If you like this show, uh, hopefully this feed sticks. Give it a share. If the, if it has to re drop again. Give us another share. Eventually, we'll get a good feed out there. Uh, but tonight, in this building, right here, uh, we have a special guest interviewer coming up later on. He is going to interview Malachi Gage. All right. Malachi Gage. And uh, we have a big announcement concerning Malachi Gage as well. Um, additionally, the commissioner, Big Lenny, will be here. Uh, also, the tag team champions have a great interview for us tonight. And the men that think. Kato! Team champions yes that other stuff yes get it out of here i'm out of here man that malarkey yeah that crock right that apple sauce yeah this is imagine wrestling live from the dojo in cato this is a belated chapter 16 hey look we know we're a day late and a dollar short, but we are going to make it rain on the Imagine Wrestling family with some exclusive wrestling content. Because in that ring tonight, well, you were going to see the professional Braden Elliott, Mr. Imagine Wrestling Live, but he's a little under the weather, you know, which is a little odd. I've heard about people having a peanut allergy, but I never heard of a peanut head having an allergy, but apparently he's a little stuffed up in the sinuses. So taking his place tonight... Pinch hitting for him tonight is a guy who bats a thousand against the neighborhood. That's right. Jimmy the high flying hippie himself, that fiery flying flower child, is going to take on the neighborhood's aerial assailant, the ace Oscar Maverick, in that ring tonight. But there's a catch, Kato. Okay. Guess who's donning the ceremonial zebra stripes from the Serengeti tonight? I think I know the answer. Go That's ahead. right. The world traveler, Kim Chi, is going to be your special guest officiant vis-a-vis -vis Uganda tonight. And I can tell you this right now. If Jimmy the high-flying hippie doesn't keep his head out of the clouds and into that unique Ugandan wrestling rule book, well, he might be out aerial assaulted and outmaneuvered tonight by Ace Oscar Maverick in that ring tonight. Uh, uh you know, it's unfortunate. We did have a referee lined up for last night, but then we had to move the show to tonight. And uh, so here we are. We're back with uh, we're back with Mr. Kim Chi as a referee. And that was a nightmare last week. I thought, uh, not as bad as my head was exploding when this feed wasn't working earlier. Right. But, uh, or when you said the bad word earlier. Yeah, it's like my head almost I had to take exploded. a drink. All that cussing makes me dry. It dries uh, up the pipes. Those, uh, those things happen, but... Um, yeah, his, his refereeing makes me nuts. Well, I mean, the rules are very fluid in Ugandan wrestling. They seem to change all the time. Yeah, so I, I, if you haven't caught this act, uh, be surprised to be very angry. So I see a maniac marching around over there. I think he's maybe ready for an interview. If we're ready, let's, uh, let's go ahead. we got a very special guest announcer tonight. He's here with us, our own miniature mean gene. That's Abraham Klein. All right, Abraham. Good evening, wrestling fans. My name is Abraham Klein, and right now I'm getting ready to have an interview with the number one contender for the heavyweight championship, Malachi Gage. Mr. Gage, um, if we could get you over here real quick, we could start our interview. Mr. Gage, Malachi, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Malachi Gage, uh, news has just broke from our commissioner uh, that you are going to be the number one contender for the heavyweight championship uh, against our current champion, uh, Bill Collier. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Mr. Gage? <laughs> Do you have an answer for us, sir? <laughs> I've run through every opponent. I <laughs> I've run through every single opponent I've been against. <laughs> Bill Collier's no different. <laughs> okay. Um, well, if we could have a follow-up question, sir. Sir. Uh, okay. Dang. Um, that one thing. If we could get a follow-up question. Um, Bill Collier, obviously the season, obviously uh, the season veteran, and uh, you, uh, you know, you, you've done great here at Imagine Wrestling so far. Jesus, be careful, and, Abraham. Uh, our, uh, what are your? I think he hit himself in the face. Looks, it looks, so like, it looks uh, like he enjoyed it, the goof. Well, what's, uh, what's your strategy as far as uh, taking on uh, Bill? Uh, basically, my question is, what, 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 how, what's your strategy as far as taking on the champion? Uh, how do you uh, expect to engage him in combat? I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> ah, I always do. I'm uppercutting his jaw into the third row. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, I don't know what we're doing, so just... Mr. Gage, are you okay? I, I really don't. Do you need help? Hi, oh, Mr. Geez. Gage. I, again, if we could just uh, continue the interview. I, I was trying to, we were talking about your contendership. Uh, for the heavyweight championship here at Imagine Wrestling. Such an honor. How do you feel about that opportunity? Imagine, you know, uh, here you've been in here this short time and you've gotten these great opportunities. And, uh, yeah. Mr. Gage, um, continuing with our questioning. Room. Mr. Gage? Try to keep you folks updated as I don't know what he's going through. But again, Mr. Gage is the number one contendership, uh, contender for the heavyweight championship against Bill Collier. And uh, again, we've been trying to get some answers from him. Uh, so far, he's told us a few things. Not really. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Watch it. Watch it, Abraham. Uh, listen, folks, this Jeez. is uh, kind of undressing at this point. I. Uh, anyway, folks, this has gotten a little bit out of hand. Uh, we're just going to have to send it back to you guys over there at the desk. But this is Abraham Klein here today with uh, Malachi Gage. Thanks for watching. Okay. I, uh, I have so many questions. What? First off, I, I, my first impression is, is that when Lenny comes out here later, we've got to ask him about, I mean, with his history with the neighborhood, I'm a little surprised. And then secondly, the question becomes, how do guys like David Lawless and Spencer Slade, who's historically been right there at the top of the, the, the contenders list, uh, wonder how they feel about this? I, I really have no idea, but I mean, you, you can't take anything away from the sideshow psycho Malachi Gage, or as I like to call him, the neighbor from your nightmares. I'm singing it again, can yeah, you I see that? Yeah, he is on a hot streak of wins. He looks better every time I see him. He might be crazier every time that I see him, too, because, look, there's poor Abraham Klein trying to talk sense to this psychopath, and he's just babbling about, trying to hit poor Abraham Klein with staplers and things. I, uh, man, I, I'm, I'm excited to what's next, though. I, I'm excited to see what Malachi Gage's chances against Bill Collier would be. I'm excited to see how Bill Collier would uh, navigate the waters that is the entire neighborhood. I'm especially curious to see how, uh, well, how Spencer Slade plays into this situation. Right. You know, former champion hasn't really got a legitimate shot at that title match again. So the whole thing is really sort of curious to me. I'm curious to see uh, where things play out and how things go from here. I'll tell you, though, um, it's, a, it's a holiday season, man. It must be the season for giving, and maybe that's why Lenny gave that title match. Well, maybe. And here's one thing. We got this little holiday hiatus coming up, a little Christmas vacation, mm -hmm. I guess, because we're absent a show here this December. And if 
you know, Malachi Gage is industrious and pragmatic enough. He'll use that vacation time to study up on his wrestling, try to get the advantage in his heavyweight title shot. And, you know, I have a few suggestions of things that I'd like to accomplish okay, on great. this holiday I bet this will be amazing. vacation, if I may. Yeah, here so, we go. This is the top ten things that I'd like to accomplish over this Christmas holiday vacation. Are you ready, Kato? I, I, mean, I couldn't be more ready. I couldn't be more ready. Number one. Yeah. Go to an AA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't going right. to that. I don't okay. quit anything except jobs and, and marriages and wrestling and a keto diet and I actually quit a lot of things, but, you know, I'm, I'm keeping the alcohol. Yeah, I'm keeping or the alcohol. cursing on live air. Well, where's the swear jar? <laughs> Blink! Okay. All right. Number two. Promote the Bentley B squared facial aesthetic. Tell me more. What is that? That's the Bentley bald head beard facial aesthetic. Now, that is the hottest new thing. Conor McGregor rocking the Bentley B squared. The Alpha Rick Mavericks rocking the B squared. The Alpha who? Rick Matthews. Oh, you said something else weird. It didn't sound very good. Love is in the air. I think that cursing earlier no, really threw you off tonight. Uh, the, uh, Matthew McConaughey in the movie Reign of Fire rocked the Bentley B squared. And you know what? You got a you got a good beard on you, yeah. okay? Uh, huh? uh, I wouldn't. Huh? I wouldn't. How about we make it official? Yeah. Huh? Go ahead and try. All right, no. No? <laughs> he bowed up the fist. <laughs> I uh, said the F word live on the air earlier. He was going to ass assail me right here on the air, right in front of all our fans. Yeah. Number three. Family entertainment. You got a face yeah. tattoo of Digger the Lamisil Gremlin right there. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to be internet personalities. The little Zan, he's got the facial tattoos. The little Yachty, he's got the facial <laughs> Little Bentley. I'll pay for it if you do it. The Lamisil Gremlin yeah, Digger. I'll, I'll pay for it out of my own pocket. I think it's... That's that new new. That's yeah, what yeah. the kids say on the TikTok. Just think if uh, if you weren't married, happily married, the ladies you could draw with a face tattoo like that. I'd be I'd be beating them off. Uh, well. Next one. Please. Get a, get a lucrative endorsement deal like Fox Racing sunglasses because you can't outrun the sun. Huh? We make money. Okay. Lucrative all endorsement. Right, all right. Very lucrative. What happened? Are we lot we out again? I heard some talking over there. Don't interrupt my comedy. What? Not letting you have the interview. Not letting you load the interview. We'll come back to that. We're, we're in the middle yeah, of a right. skit. We're in the middle of a skit. I'll come fix that. We'll do that after the match. We'll change the... I mean, the show is off the rails. It's, it's went nuts. I'll come back and get that later. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll go to the match after this. I don't know what number this is. This could be five. It, it could be six. Maybe. I don't know. Them guys talking over there screwing up a whole I know. That's... It can't be Facebook. It's got to be these guys. It's got to be somebody. When something funny is happening, our producers say... Well, let's, let's kill that. Dive let's right in the middle kill that momentum. Of All right. So this thing, keep doing unfunny jokes because you know I love free booze. Uh, boo. Keep. Ah, boo. it's a thinker. A little, yeah. yeah a little play a on the words. Yeah. Probably a stinker, too. Yeah. <laughs> not any worse than, than the producers talking during the live show. What kind of, what kind of outfit are we running here? We got one guy who curses on the hey, live hey. air. Another guy won't shut up over there. Jeez Louise. Shut up, Gelman. The, 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 this number seven, I guess. <laughs> Get this egg roll made of blubber removed from the back of my neck. <laughs> oh, no. So the fat Asian kid in my neighborhood stops chasing me around. I've never noticed that before. Now I won't be able to stop terrible. staring at it's it. It's terrible. Yeah, it's not good. That's, there's fried cabbage in yeah, there. I'm sure of it. How do you store so much fat in one? I don't, I, I don't know. Weird, it's like okay. a camel's hump. Do I have that? I but, hope not. I hope not, too. That's weird. Yours is covered by a lush mane of silver hair. Yeah, man. Old man still got a full head of hair. Number nine. Yeah. Teach a dog to do magic and call it a labracadabra door. <laughs> I like that one. I this think we sell them. 16 weeks of the show. That is probably the worst joke you've done on the show. A labracadabra door. 16 weeks. The worst. Can and we think of a worst show? <laughs> you, throw, you throw out the ball... 
Oh my god. That the whole labracadabra doodle disappears. Oh man. I like it. Oh no you don't. Labracadabra doodle. <laughs> mix it with a it's mix well, it with a poodle labracadabra doodle. So terrible. All right. Oh, it's upside down. Invent exercises for the legs of lazy people and call them diddly squats. Remember earlier when I said that was the worst joke I've ever heard? <laughs> you better buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> it's going in the toilet. Get some treatment for my helium addiction. You think I like sounding like this, Kato? I got a problem. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm on board for that one. That one's funny. I'm s <laughs> that Bentley facial aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the last one, right? number 10. Walk around nude beaches with rollers. See how people measure up. Rollers, not rollers. Rollers. You One said through twelve. Rollers. Anybody else hear rollers? Hey, hey, uh, producer man Gelman over there that never stops talking. You heard, you heard rollers too, right? I don't know if my endorsement <laughs> liked that joke. <laughs> Might get dropped by Fox Racing already. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we had a video lined up. We're going to bring that up later on. I'll go over while you're doing some commentary here and fix that because our producer man doesn't. I mean, he's. He's, uh, he, I think he's flustered by your dirty word earlier. Yeah, well, yeah. why don't you just scream out what happens to the interviews in the finish of the match here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch to the match, man. Let's go right to the match now. I think we're ready. All right. In the ring, he is from the neighborhood. He is the ace of the neighborhood, Oscar Maverick. His opponent. Different cameraman. I didn't have to tell him to switch. He hey, did it on his own. All right. See, he is the high flying hippie. Jimmy. I think it's Jimmy, the high flying hippie. I did it wrong. Smelling that sticky flower. And unfortunately, our. Uh, uh, here we go. Our guest from officiant. Uganda, the the uh, special guest referee. He is Kim Chi. Oh, there we go. A little Saigon squash. You know, uh, I think uh, the ace Oscar Maverick has a little handle for himself. He calls himself uh, the stuff like the king of plain style. Or yeah. Is that what it is? The king? Yeah, something like that. Something like the that. The leader of plain style. And this is uh, Jimmy the High Flying Hippie. We, we see, we've seen uh, Kim Chi really overly search the opponents of the ace Oscar Maverick. He must have a really trusting relationship with the, uh, the aerial assailant. All right. Well, this is uh, this is getting real weird real quick. What are we doing here? Yeah. All right. I really we should have tried to sit him down and and all right. Ring the bell, please. Jimmy looking good too. Jimmy looks like he's really leaning up around the middle. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. He's doing uh, that yoga. You know. He's in good shape. You know what that yoga is good for? It keeps the joints nice and loose. Oscar Maverick getting getting just beat up by uh, Jimmy the High Flying Hippie rear uh, rear chin lock. Oh oh, and Kim Chi breaking the rear chin lock. He tells him that that is a against rule. A man with the chin hairs cannot do a rear chin lock. He said that is uh, you gotta do balloon bees. Jimmy the High Flying Hippie there with a step over toe. Oh, and he's just look at that. Just like that, he's not going for a cover. And uh, Kim Chi, oh, he's got to make sure his shoulders are on the mat and one. Very deliberate counter slow. Oh, obviously, Ace Oscar Maverick able to kick out. I mean, who couldn't? Jimmy is irritated. He's very irritated. Nope. But uh, Kim Chi Talon, only one count. He made sure. Back elbow. Jimmy rolling. It's Kim Chi stopping him. Remember, arm drags are illegal. Uh, Jimmy putting his hands on the official. Oh! You do hear that stiff right cross. Oh! There's that Yakuza kick. And the educated feet of Oscar Maverick go to work. Oh, and it, it, it's Kim Chi laying on top of Oscar Maverick, putting a little additional weight on the top of Jimmy the High Flying Hippie. But not quite able to keep the, uh, the, the fiery flying flower child down that time. As Jimmy gets to the ropes. Ace Oscar Maverick is draping that throw. Oh, and uh, Kim Chi doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. The Oscar Maverick is obviously cheating. Kim Chi's tying his boots while Ace Oscar Maverick chokes Jimmy the High Flying Hippie on the rope. And I'm just even speaking loud enough that he can plainly hear me. And he's not doing anything about it. Boy, Jimmy's really in trouble. 
Holding that previously injured toe. Oh! There's another stiff right hand by the ace Oscar Maverick. Just taking it to Jimmy the high fly. And another for you. Jimmy's gonna have to counter, muster a little offense here and try. Oh! Look at that, Kim Chi, Kim Chi Strutton! Oh, and there are those educated feet of Ace Oscar Maverick. And another for you. How about a trifecta? Oh, no, he's doing some little dance, little moves, yep. He's doing his kata, getting his chi centered, you know. It's, it's all very, it's all very, you know, from the Orient, you know. Oh, Ace Oscar Maverick is a, is a world traveler just like you. Kim Chi, you know, he's a, he's a pilot for the Navy. I guess that's kind of like being the quarterback for the baseball team, but it's what he does, oddly enough. He is in total control, showing you why he earned that promotion. That's right, he, used, he recently got promoted to an adultery. Yeah, he was formerly a member of the infantry, promoted to adultery. Oh, an ace Oscar Maverick. Look at that. Cartwheeling in, somersaulting into another, doing a, another somersault up to another. What a trifecta of clotheslines. Unreal, excellent offensive uh, uh, combination. Oh, and there's that standing moonsault. Nobody does it quite like Ace Oscar Maverick and only able to get a two count, and I think a pretty rapid two count at that. Jimmy sucking wind. Ace Oscar Maverick in firm control here. The neighborhood is uh, is uh, looking to uh, re reaccomplish or reestablish, sorry, some momentum in their feud with the others of Imagine Wrestling. Raining down on him before him. Is he getting angry? Shaking that fist out. Ace Oscar Maverick still in control, but Jimmy has no quit in him. Well, now he's doing a he's doing a rear chin lock, and there doesn't seem to be. Oh, wait! He's gonna put that gonna put that Ugandan beekeeper helmet on him. Well, this is why is it? oh, and he's helping him. Kim Chi is helping him wrench back on that rear chin lock. This is a, something about those Ugandan rolls affords the referee a, a, an opportunity to jump in and be oh elbow Jimmy the high flying hippie. Oh. There's a handful of hair and he yanks Jimmy the Hippie down to the canvas. Handful of hair. Oh, and they hate perspiration, does the neighborhood. We already know that. Oh, putting the, putting the boots back to Jimmy the Hippie. Oh, and right now Kimchi's saying, go ahead, use a closed fist, pal. I don't mind if you punch him in the kisser. He's saying do it again. Have at it. Punch him again. Oh, been he a, does. Been a wild match, man. This is uh, this has uh, been frustrating for sure. Oh, oh, there's very a very quick count. There, there was a you know, a, 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 somebody say oh he's, oh he's explaining it to him and he's saying go to go go to hit him with with some right hands again. He's really uh oh. Jimmy's uh, not Jimmy's gonna take this. Mad, man. Oh. Oh, mad. Jimmy looking at Kim Chi like he was a grizzly and Kim Chi was a piece of salmon soaked in honey. Oh look, wait, Kim Chi's holding Jimmy the high flying hippie down as Ace Maverick ascends absolutely, the top rope. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh look, Jimmy's fighting back now. Ace Oscar Maverick. Pulled down that cable. Pulled the cable down. His foot got caught in the cable. He almost landed this is on that. a disaster. Almost landed on that Ugandan beekeeper helmet. Both men down. The referee, the officiant from Uganda, Kim Chi down, working his way up. Ace Oscar Maverick now up to two feet. Jimmy up. That's the clothesline. Jimmy gonna punch. Punch again. Headbutt. No, it isn't. He says, why you little? And an atomic drop. Kim Chi getting himself out of the way. Jimmy the high flying, heavy back elbow, rolling through. Hitting ace Oscar Maverick. The shoulder block to the gut. Catches clothesline. There's a snap mare. And another snap mare. Jimmy the high flying, heavy on the comeback here. Backing up, getting some distance. 
And a monkey flip! Oh, we well, got all that one. Wow, I'm surprised his foot didn't strike that cable once again, Kato. Oh! You got him. Springboard moonsault, this gotta be it, Kato. What? Kimchi taking Oh, uh, come on, again with this nonsense. Very deliberate, very slow. Oh, he's uh, in his Come on! Three, two. Oh, that, I think Jimmy's had all he can stand. He can't stand no more, Kato. I think you should smack him. I think you should like smack him. Wait, hey, he's got him. He's got him up in position for that steamroller, Kato. Setting him up. There it is. Going to the top, and nobody does this better than Jimmy the High Flying Hippie. They don't call him High Flying for nothing. He has got him right where he wants him. Well, they got two reasons for that. This could be it. Oh! oh he landed oh, hard on yeah. his tailbone. And his ankle, too, rolling oh, underneath him. this is bad. Him. This is bad. Oh! That might have been low. No, wait! Somehow that was that, legal. No, no! Look at that! What's Smart going on? Move. I like that! See? He's telling him. Ring the bell! Ring the oh. bell! Ring the bell! The batch is over! Just what? what? For In, what? I, I think he's gonna... Kimchi! What, what is that for now? I, I need a... For what? Explain it to me, Kimchi! Ah! Uh, he wore some ass to, Oh! And Jimmy the high flying hippie just popping. We're gonna Kimchi need some more clarification cuss. on that one. Whoa! I, uh... At the kaleidoscope, a rope of dope, and I just landed right in your neighborhood. Be ready, I'm coming. I, I'm kind of confused. I mean, you, you speak Ugandanese. Right? You, uh, you, uh, well, it's uh, Kim Chi, the world traveler's native tongue of uh, Ugandan Upa Lumpies. And what I think he said was, in Ugandan wrestling roles, the pile driver is actually illegal. And if a man tries to administer that illegal maneuver, he's automatically disqualified. Kim Chi disqualified Jimmy the High Flight. Felipe! Don't st I, I heard F and I got a little worried. You know, it slips out from time. Worried, I, like, I'm, I have an illness. I think that's what you, Felipe would think of your explanation. Uh, it's not my explanation. I don't. I, I'm not Imagine Wrestling. I didn't hire the official for this evening. I so, think he did. Uh, I think. Um, I, so we're having a little trouble with that video tonight. We'll play it again next week on the live show. But. Um, I'm going to release it tonight. You can catch it on Facebook tonight. It, 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 it's really a, a great piece of information um, from the uh, the tag champs and the guys who think they're the tag champs. Right. So, We're trying uh, to take care of you, Imagine Family. It's just the, the technology won't let us. Hit yeah, it with a hammer. Facebook, Facebook is, uh, yeah, Facebook is really ruining my night. The devil. So, Zuckerberg. A lot of, lot of frustration. Punk. A lot of frustration here tonight. Uh, a lot of things been going on, Lenny. Lenny, welcome. How are you today? How are you feeling? R really good, really good. Good. Yeah. Everything healing up quickly yep, for yep. you. Feeling better. Yeah. Up and about much more than before. Oh yeah. How are you settling into your new role as the uh, the commissioner of Imagine Wrestling? Um, you know, obviously it's going to be a bit of a difficult transition. You know, going from performing to you know more of a manager managerial role within the company. Um, but I feel like I'll be able to you know um, make the transition fairly easy. So. Just a few things. I mean, I know you've ruled on some of these things. For the first time, we're going to find out a little bit about these things. This tag team title situation, uh, we didn't get to play the video. Uh, I know you've, 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 you've been in meetings about this already. Uh, you have a decision. I, I guess Money Shot sort of took the belts uh, after they won via countout. They think they're the tag team champ. Um, the main event is, is here. They're clearly the tag team champ. What kind of resolution do we see to how we're going to resolve uh, this situation with the tag team titles. Um, funny enough, you know, I, I've actually brought this up to you and you shot this down a long time ago. I felt like titles should be able to change hands on, on count outs, but um, we're going to negate that rule altogether and it's going to be a no count out match for the tag team belts. There has to be a winner. There has to be a champion. All right. Okay. No tag team, no, no, no count out match. Great. Now, I like that. I'm, this is going to be controversial. We talked about it a little bit earlier as far as the number one contendership. I think there's a certain amount of the, the Imagine family is going to think that it should have been Spencer Slade based on his uh, match last month that he had when maybe a few people think it should be David Lawless. There are some other guys that, that certainly are maybe deserving of, of a title match with your history with the neighborhood. I think a lot of people were shocked that you'd name Malachi Gage the number one contender. Uh, we all know he's had a great year. Uh, but how were you able to put aside uh, your personal feelings to make this decision? 
Um, at the end of the day, it all boils down to business. Um, it just makes smart business sense. Um, Malachi Gage has been a, on a roll, um, whether you agree with his tactics. And, you know, obviously he's got a screw or five loose upstairs. But um, he's doing really well. He's, you know, he's very rapidly turning into one of the top superstars in the company itself and um he has you know he has had a dominating year so at some point in time you know a guy like him has to have a shot and you know i, I feel like no matter what i want to be a fair commissioner um i'm not going to favor anybody over anybody else it's all about wins and losses whoever wins you're going to get pushed to title shots and that's the way it should go i feel like Jeez, right. what's with, you, with your ruthless approach to journalism just going right for the throat right off the bat, Kato? You didn't even let him get comfortable. I got a question for you. You know, you came back to a resounding ovation from this Imagine Wrestling family when the announcement, well, when you made the announcement that you're now the Mountain Commissioner Big Lenny. What was going through your head? What was going through your heart? whenever you were given that warm reception by the Imagine Wrestling family? Um, well, to be honest, I mean, not, not to sound, you know, to uh, fool myself, but I expected nothing less of the Imagine family. I know what the Imagine family is. I know what they're like. And, uh, the, you know, whenever they have, you know, love for somebody, if, part of the Imagine family, they love to show that, th that their support and their love for that member of the Imagine family. Okay, well, it's, uh, I mean, let me ask you, what do you, we had two pretty big decisions as far as the tag team title. Malachi Gage, what do you, how do you feel? Uh, you know, you've made fun of uh, Lenny quite a few times through the last four months, but how do you feel about these first two decisions that he's made? Well, I, I, Commissioner Big Lenny kicking in the door, introducing himself and making things happen. I like it. Shake things up around here. And you know what? We can't let things get too stagnant if we're going to be that upper echelon promotion, which we are. Absolutely. Okay. Um, real quick before we go away, can we address a couple things? You brought up the Spencer Slade. You brought up David Lawless. Can we address those couple things? Um, David Lawless, David Lawless had his shot, um, you know, he, and we all saw how that transpired. Um, he needs to do something again to prove in my eyes that he deserves another shot. Um, Spencer Slade. I love Spencer Slade. Um, Spencer Slade is, he's on a rocket ship to the top of the wrestling world. Um, that's my opinion. Um, and does he deserve another heavyweight title shot? Absolutely. Is it time right now? No, it isn't. Is it because he needs to prove something? No, he doesn't. But there has to come a point where for smart business, we, I cannot have Spencer Slade versus Bill Collier every month for six months straight. I agree. Yeah. I a agree. mountain commissioner interviewing himself, asking yeah, himself yeah. questions and answering him. He does it all. Stuff, he doesn't man. need us. I, I agree. So, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. I'm sure we're going to have you back here in the yeah. coming weeks. We'll have lots, lots of more. questions. You'll see me lots more. All so, right. <clears throat> just uh, as a quick, a quick close here tonight, uh, just a few things. Just a reminder, we are switching to YouTube next week. No doubt about it. We're fixing this. I, I, my head's going to explode if we keep having these problems. Um, you did us dirty, Facebook. They did us dirty. That's why man. I cuss on them. Yeah, yeah. Is that the reason? It's yep. not because you have a potty nope. mouth? They were they ruined the feng shui of the whole interview. They, they did. They did. But we'll have, a, we'll have a complete feed of this. You guys can go watch the whole thing all over again. It'll be uploaded on YouTube and on Instagram uh, yet tonight. But next week, we will be live on YouTube. Additionally, next week, we are not going to have one match. We are going to have two matches. I have a feeling this thing with Jimmy the Hippie is not resolved. I have a feeling uh, if Brayden Elliott is feeling well, I know his situation with uh, Ace Oscar Maverick is not over as well. So uh, I think that um, we have a big show next week. Mr. Imagine Wrestling Live, the professional Braden Elliott making his return. Jimmy, got an axe to grind. The neighborhood looking to get back a little lost momentum. We got a lot happening here in Imagine Last Wrestling. Thing. Neighbor John will be on the show, has a big announcement for the first time, the entire neighborhood in the house, the entire neighborhood. Drop the mic, Cato. We'll see Drop you. the mic. We'll see you next week. Go ahead, you can stop living us now. This guy's frozen.